Okay, so moving further uh, in mobile penetration testing series, I will be sharing some great resources for a mobile penetration testing uh, process in which you will be able to see and or access the information of the flow and the architecture of Android and iOS and what will be the steps we have to follow at the time of penetration testing. And apart from that, these resources are literally great because the contribution in these resources will, uh, are from the OAPS community itself. So many of the security researchers worldwide sharing their uh, research and, and uh, like contribute to these resources so that we are able to get the knowledge and we are able to uh, like we can go into that uh, particular same direction. So uh, moving forward and let's jump to that second screen. Our first resource is uh, OWASP Mobile Application Pen Testing Hit Book. So again, it's a resource from the OWASP itself. So I will be just sharing the resource. Okay. So here, uh, this is the kit book, which is uh, start from the introduction of mobile security testing guide and uh, which start from the introduction of what exactly OWASP mobile testing uh, security testing guide is, what is the key areas and uh, like uh, authentication and authorization and uh, communication with the trust endpoints, uh, interaction, like interaction with the mobile platform, code quality, exploit mitigation, something like this. So if you if you switch to uh, mobile security testing, here you can see some logical aspect what exactly the testing will be and uh, what are the types of testing. Suppose if you if you if you can uh, focus on this section, these are the principle of uh, testing like black box testing, white box, te box testing, and gray box testing and vulnerability analysis. So in vulnerability analysis, again there are two types like static and dynamic as I mentioned in the previous video like uh, we have to uh, follow the testing of any of the apk or uh, any of the ipf file uh, first with the static analysis and then switch to dynamic analysis so if you go on the mobile app authentication architecture so you will be uh, getting knowledge about uh, the authentication architecture of any of the mobile application whether it can be android or it can be ios application okay so here uh, you will be able to see all the parameters, all the main functionality that you need to take care of that at the time of testing. So if you find any buggable or any vulnerability or any sensitive information at the time of testing or at the time of static testing, then you will be able to catch that and you will be able to report that. Okay, so uh, this is the first resource that I have just mentioned you and uh, switch back to the slides. Okay, so second one is OWASP Mobile Top 10. Okay, so second one is OWASP Mobile Top 10. So uh, as you can see, it is a official website of OWASP and these uh, information will be provided throughout the community. So here, if you can see, uh, these are the top 10 mobile risk and it is uh, like this, this list is from the uh, 2016. And like at the time of 2016 back, they have mentioned these top 10 vulnerabilities that may be found may or may not be found in the apk or in the ios application that is ipfi and this is the 2014 list if you hit one of the risk then you will be able to see all the information regarding this this improper platform uses like uh, what will be the uh, threat agent and what will be the attack vectors security weaknesses and business impact and if if uh, if any of the application is vulnerable to some extent of that uh, risk type, then the mitigation is also provided. The prevention is also provided. Like how you can prevent improper platform users so that your application will not be face any of the vulnerability within this category. Okay, so switch back to the previous tab. And if we go to the, let's say insufficient cryptography. So here you can see again, the threat agent, the vector attack vectors and the uh, business impact and if that application is vulnerable then what will be the uh, the, the, the outcome of this um, the vulnerability or vulnerability type and again in the last if uh, if you want to prevent this vulnerability from any of the application then uh, they have like also mentioned some of the uh, prevention steps that we have to take care at the time of development or at the time of um, production of that application 
Okay, so moving further and uh, jump to our third, that is sect jude introduction of Frida and objection. So objection is nothing but a runtime mobile exploration toolkit, which is powered by Frida, of course. And the aim of this tool is to use uh, the mobile application or to access the mobile application and uh, their security posture to understand what exactly uh, the logic is using in that AP APK or IPA file at the time of installation or at the time of running in mobile devices. And uh, if we talk about Frida, Frida is nothing but uh, a dynamic toolkit which used by the software professional to run their own script just to ch uh, check the output which is not required or which is not uh, meant to be for uh, for any APK or any IPA file at the time of running in the mobile devices. Okay, now our next resource is Aditya Agarwal Manifest Security. Okay, so I must say this resource is literally good because it, it start uh, testing with the tool called Drozer and uh, it also understand about all the practical implementation of insecure data storage, binary property and uh, insufficient transport layer protection, unintended data leakage, uh, like poor authentication and authorization, attacking to the surveys, attacking to the activities which is used in the Android application, uh, security decision via untrusted import, uh, if we talk about uh, attacking the broadcast and receiver which is again using in the Android EPK and all these I will be explaining Android architecture for sure. Switch back to our representation and uh, our last resource is Hatrix for Android and iOS pen testing setting. So this resource is also one of the great resource because uh, in this resource you will be able to find all the checklist that you have to perform or you need to take care of at the time of testing for any of the APK or uh, IPA files like routing and uh, Android application fundamentals, what exactly Android manifest file is, what exactly class.dex is, uh, meta INS folder, uh, resource, resources.arsc strings.xml and many things. And if you go uh, for the iOS pen testing checklist, you will be getting all these checklists that you need to take care of the time of penetration testing uh, like uh, data storage, keyboards, logs, the backups, the application is storing in, in the uh, like mobile device itself, what is what uh, the data will be getting or sensitive, what sensitive information is inside the application's memory, cryptography functions and many things. Okay, so I will be sharing some more other stuff, more interesting stuff in the next series. So, bye-bye.